it at all. I believe as well. But then I can already do this. So the attackers were Hoggle Rose Blue. Hoggle Rose Blue. Hoggle We Are Clowns Red. And voice attacks decided not to work. Hoggle Rose Blue. Toggle We Are Clowns Red. Toggle Clowns Red. When you forget the command you've given. <laughs> God damn it. Right, so what have we got? We've got a couple of moles for the attackers. They've got five muskets out. No, six muskets out, sorry. A short bow, a couple of pole axes, a couple of short swords. The defenders have got one more mole. They've got three pole axes. So they've got one more pole axe as well. A lot less muskets, one jewel blade. Uh, a couple of long swords, which are interesting. The units that the attackers have got is a lot of pikes. They've got full pikes. They've, they're setting up basically for a sally out. The defenders are not sallying out there. Who am I rooting for, Bison Boy? Ooh. Honestly, I hope Rose win. Just because it keeps the league open. Like, who's going to be the league winner open for another week and everything gets decided in the last week? Um... That's basically my reasoning behind it. Who I actually think will win. I mean, We Are Clowns have won every single fight so far. So I'd say that they're, they're, they're the favourite. Uh, I'd probably have to... If I was going to bet, I would probably have to bet on them. Um, if, like, just because they have performed better, like, every week so far. Um, but I think Rose can definitely still win. Let's get into a good position to see stuff. So, like I said, the defenders are not selling out. They've got, they've not got the units for it. They've got a flamey boy out already. They've got the Kalian militia. They've got claymores. Oh, okay, Grey Eye Garrison are pretty good. Palace guards. Halberdier sergeants are actually a really strong unit, man. Somebody just died. Ika Amia just killed Ajax. That must have been with a. Oh no, they jumped off. No, I missed it. No. There's Amia though. Rest in pieces, my dude. Rest in peace. So Amya is a... No, Ajax, sorry, what were my about? So Amya killed him. Apologies. I hope I got the team names the right way around. I'm pretty sure I do, though. Pretty sure Montek is Rose. I'm pretty sure the kicker guys... We are... I'm pretty sure I got Right. So the towers are getting in. I mean, they were always going to get the towers in anyway. Falcon is have been banned. Um, I wonder, though, if the attackers are going to keep so many Fortabracchios and IPGs out for this push. Because afterwards, their units, nothing's going on, so I'm, I feel okay looking at the map. They've only got one set of... No, they've got two sets of Keshigs. What about this? Defenders also only have two sets of Keshigs. Interesting. They've got Tercios out. They've got a couple of units of Namcams as well. Bag type. Namcams are pretty good for the endpoint. A couple of units of the Kaelin Militia as well. Obviously, a couple of units of Flamers. They've got Iron Reapers. Uh, Imperial Shields. The attack have actually got a Banner Guard unit as well, so... So Kicker Amia just died from Hawk. That must have been a... A Lister. I'll actually look at the battle now. I'm trying to go through the, the units as much as possible before the fighting goes, so we have an overview of what's actually... Like, how the fighting might go down. So both teams have lost a hero so far. Unit-wise, the attackers have lost 10, obviously, due to the initial units. Uh, the initial units. The initial artillery that was on the walls they're breaking down the gate now they still got nearly nine minutes um the attackers are doing everything right though they're basically opening up all of the options um and now it's going to be a rotation game they still have 15 trebs the defenders got a wedge of stuff on no they don't they've got village watchmen on it are they not going to defend a and b that was me just chatting shit about what units they've got and they've got a full setup on the end point and they i'm not even going to bother with a and b oh wow so as soon as the attackers put pressure on, we are clans are going to pull back to the end point. They're just you go in with the heroes. Look, they're matching the, the 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 rotation. This is what I was saying that normally happens, but obviously the the defenders would actually have units. But they're just basically going with the heroes to just slow down. So just basically make the attackers think that they've got units, and now they're just going to pull back to the point. The attackers are going to see there's nothing there. Um, there shouldn't be too much hesitation. Even the village watchmen are getting pulled off the point. <laughs> and um, 
I think Rose is going to see pretty quick that we are clans aren't even going to defend anything. They must have seen most of them run back in. Uh, hesitating a few seconds isn't the end of the world. They can get A and B really easily. They obviously get extra time. They can get both resupplies and then it's then it's rough for the end point, man. It's going to be rough. As if I could go full screen so you can see the names. <laughs> As uh, Lyrinx has said, the five minute delay, so by the time I see it, it's already five minutes gone by, my dude. Uh, I hope I showed you what you wanted to see, but we'll see. So what have we got here for a setup wise? So we've got, we are clowns on the back staircase. It, Reaper's going to be really good up on that uh, top wall. We've got some grey air blocking the stairs. They can't get through Zekali, Militia and Reapers, obviously. They can't build any artillery, which is going to be rough. The attackers having so many muskets, though, could be huge because they're going to... Yeah, it must get bombed the hell out of that. Uh, they have grey hair in the corner here, so they're obviously going to try stopping them climbing the walls. Uh, do they have anything in the back lines here? No, they don't have Nam cams out either, I do not believe. No, they don't. The attackers have changed units, so they've got a couple of Zekali militia out. They have flamers out now. Ooh, Houndsman. Houndsman can get some work done here. Uh, shield maidens as well, Imperial things, and a couple of uh, uh, Reapers as well. Spot Brachios, all right, cool. It's going to be interesting how it goes down, man. Um, so the Zekalian up on the top can obviously... Oh, no, that's the muskets what I'm on about. The muskets from the defenders are bombing down on the point. Uh, they've got all three of them on this side to just keep doing as much damage over time as possible. Obviously stop the uh, the enemies from healing their units up. Make them have to keep moving, have to keep reacting. There's some Zekalians coming in, look, to hit the... Sport of Brachio. They didn't really hit any though but it's just keeping pressure up just basically making it so they can't just sit there and heal for free the whole time um rose are gonna, i don't think they're going to push through here i reckon what they're going to do is they're going to set up here so that we are clowns think that everything's going to come through here and then they're going to rotate there's not really much they can rotate to though because if they go this way like we are clowns have to move what two meters <laughs> and they're there uh pushing through there's going to be rough though man but with enough muskets bombing these corners they're going to do work They've got 13 minutes still, so they, they, they can't hesitate for too long because obviously what's 13 minutes, maybe four or five pushes. They obviously only have the units for three, so I suppose, I suppose they've got time. I'll shut up. They've got enough time. I do like the way our clowns set up though. They've got enough concentrated in one area that they can they can answer the biggest threats, which is this gateway and this gateway. But they've got enough spread around that they can slow stuff down if they come up. So we've got a couple of heroes trying to climb up here. I know. They were just putting pressure on to make them think. Obviously, they keep units here, like climbing the walls. Three heroes have to stay. There's a unit that's just sat here. This push here is going to be brutal if they try going. They have to be careful, though, with the moles. Both teams here, looks. All of them are on the uh, on their feet. If, they, if, like, Finn there, or Flynn, sorry, just jumps up, grabs somebody and runs into here, they're dead. Like, they're insta-dead. They're going to have to keep their, their eyes open for that. So, Kicker Man you just jumped in there as well. I think they're just, they're just probing it. They're probing. Nothing much has happened. They've got enough long swords though to keep keep healing this corner up from the, uh, the musket bombs. I'm looking on the minimap as well, I can't see any movement down this side. So the whole attacking force is literally stacked up here. There's a treb coming in. Where's that treb coming? From? On the wall here. The unit there is. Oh, that was to hit reapers. Okay. Oh, here comes a big push. IPG walk from the defenders, that's going to be pretty big. I can't actually see it going off. There's nothing on the minimap moving around, so I'm going to concentrate on this fight. Attack at, uh, both teams are IPG, and there's a lot of Zekali militia coming in, man, from up on this wall. Where the Reapers are. In the grey air. The attackers are being crushed there, though. The units are basically all gone. Um, they've got flamers from the defenders hitting in there. The defending Zekalians as well, just constantly been bombing the shit out of that. There's a dude on point, though. <laughs> the Rizlan just jumped through just to be a pain in the buttocks. Bondit's in the back there as well. He's got Fort Brachio. He's coming around. I don't know. Oh, is that a bad move, though? Because he's completely on his own there. Rizlan's going to die. Bondit's seen it and pulled back. Good shot. If he'd have gone in there, he would have just lost his unit to just all the heroes for no reason. Um, pushing this way is going to be a bad move for Bondit as well. So he's going to have to pull back to the resupply and wait for his to, to gather up, I think. While they reset and rejig, what's 
scores on the doors. So the attackers last 300 units and the defenders 180. Um, yeah, it's going to be rough, man. It's going to be a rough, rough fight. Uh, Kaylin got sent back to get new ammo or new ammo to get rearm. The Iron Reapers have gone with them to top up their health. There's a big push coming in the back here. A very big push coming in the back here. Uh, the problem they're going to have with it, though, we are clowns, can easily just rotate to here with a lot of their shit and block this just as easily as they can block the others. Obviously, Krebs can hit here very easily. That's pretty decent. Krebs as well. Let's push them off. They're going up onto the walls. Ooh, they're not even going to hit here. They're going to put a unit here, though, to block the stairs so the Reapers can't get them from behind. There are one set of Namcams from the defenders now as well, just going to put constant bleed damage on the attackers, especially with a big blob like this, if they get them hit there with the bleed on, that's going to be huge. The defenders are answering kind of the wall push, but only with a couple of units. If they see this and push down here, they're going to nuke these three down here. The attackers are counter pushing down on the bottom though, which is huge. One that just killed Finn. Very good counter play from both sides from the defenders looks. They're definitely going to win that fight here. Obviously up on the wall, the attackers are going to win. The problem they may have by the time they've cleared this, all of the We Are Clowns down there are going to be able to push through. We are clowns pushing up the back stairs as well. That was a very good count from We Are Clowns on this bottom bit down here. Uh, obviously, the fight up here is going in Rose's favour. Sorry for the, the jarring camera, but I'm trying to get the best angle for every, everything that's going on. Nobody's climbed this back wall as far as I can tell. It's harvest time. We've got Wiro just putting pressure on the back resupply there. The defenders are cycling back around to stop this wall push. Have they got defenders coming up the back wall? No, they're going into the main main fight, if you like. Okay, I think I think the defenders have got this. They're down two heroes. Oh no, they're winning by three heroes, four heroes even. So the defenders are definitely getting the advantage. The attackers are coming back in. Uh, they've got double the heroes killed already as well. So we are clowns. Impressive, impressive start, I would say. Um, they're just getting absolutely annihilated here. These heroes need to be jumping off the wall, really, so they can get units quicker. Yeah, too late, man. The amount that they just dropped there as well. Half of the Rose heroes are all deed. Very, very good rotations from We Are Clowns. Strong, very strong counter pushes. Uh, the initial push from Rose to get up onto, these, uh, onto this wall was a strong push. I can't help but feel like they should have pushed into the back supply though. Um, especially because the units that were left down on the floor here got pincered from two sides and absolutely ruined. But shoulda, coulda, woulda, didn't. And obviously they don't have the, the help of being able to just float around in the sky and talk about what's going on. So it looks like they're going to put wall pressure on here. Obviously where our clowns have the unit advantage, like massively, they've got 300 unit lead. They've killed 650 to 380, to almost double. Um, they've still got extremely strong units out as well. The attackers have got uh, Akeshigs now. They've got IPGs, Fort Brachio. Fort Brachios cannot climb the wall. Two sets of Akeshigs obviously can't climb the wall either. Uh, the defenders have still got a Namcam. They also have two sets of Akeshigs out. That could have been a good treb. Huge wall presence here. We are clowns aren't panicking though. They're, they're getting units in. These are up here are going to get ruined though. So Dunkel, Kickerman, you and Silver uh, thing there are going to they're going to lose that fight. Treb coming in. Most of them are going to hit this back wall here, like the 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 half of the Trebs over here. These four are all not are all going to miss. Is that over there, this four over there would have hit. I say that they got hit by the roof. That's rough, man. Um, the attackers are going to have to look how they do this now though. The defenders is that Wiro. Wiro is pretty good with Cavman as well, so they have to be very careful with him coming in the back lines here. Amya as well, just being an absolute pain in the buttock. Did he have Cav as well? He's also got Keshix. He's lost most of his unit though. He was just in the back lines here wreaking havoc. Missed what he was fighting. Must have been IPGs and Fort Brachio. Main push coming through this, the archway now. There's four muskets up on the wall, which is a good idea because they can constantly bomb, but they've only got palace guards. But they can actually get down on the stairs pretty easily, but they're not doing it. I think we are clowns might take this fight, you know. I can hear a bow shooting, but I can't see the unit. Is it... Oh, they've got Namcams in here. Alright, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, wrong button. 
the nam cams are shooting up on the wall by the looks of it. Um, is that for... No. They can take that fight. Then Palace Guards would wipe that unit, especially with all them heroes there. They just have to be careful that they don't get picked out by Amya as the Jewel Blade, because then they'll lose one of the muskets up on the wall. The attackers are just healing up a couple of their units. They've still got five minutes. They've probably got units, though, for one push. I think if they lose this push, they're out. Um, the defenders, look, have rotated around. They're going to win this fight up here. So they basically baited with a terrible unit, got the palace guards in, and now they've got their own palace guards by the look of it in the fight. That could be an extremely good treb, though. Unlucky. They were unlucky with that treb there. More should have landed. Look how many hit the side wall here. All the muskets have jumped off the wall, so they didn't lose that. But they lost more units again. It's literally double units for We Are Clowns now. Incredibly quick rotations. They are countering everything as soon as they see it. There's a lot of uh, attackers coming through this backside here. That's obviously going to split the defenders. There, they're pushing through both sides at the same time. Good move. These part Brachios need to be in V attack. I don't know if that Trebs can hit anything. I think it might get blocked mainly by that there. Let's see. Oh no, this side might get in. No, they didn't see the tracer lines. Okay. So this backside got absolutely annihilated by We Are Clowns, and they're outnumbered on the front now. They're already down four heroes. We Are Clowns are going to be able to walk through there and clear that up. Easy money. That Treb again is not going to hit anything. It gets blocked. That's why We Are Clowns have basically set up their main force here, because it's completely Treb safe. Rough, man. So... We Are Clowns have lost heroes up at 600 units to 180. There's nothing, there's nothing Rose can do now. So this is a win for We Are Clowns. Extremely good. Is that Kagan coming from behind? Oh no, Amya with the, the Keshig in the back lines. Is that Rads? Oh wait, what's it called? Sadrazan with Keshigs as well. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I was going to say, where is he? Where's his Keshigs? They're going to get right in the back there. Straight into the Fort of Brachios. Pushed a two key. Wiped most of the units. Obviously, can't go up the stairs. Uh, that's GG, man. Like, Rose just literally dropped four heroes. They've got 69 units. I suppose that's a win in, in and of itself. 69 units to finish the match with. Um, the defensive plan from We Are Clowns, though, was absolutely not just well-planned, well-executed. Um, they reacted extremely well, extremely well to all the pressure that Rose put on at the times that they put it on. Um, they basically took, often I was like thinking they're just going to react to where Rose are, are basically going and taking the fights that Rose won. And they were like, nah, we're going to push. Like the, 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 the main one I saw was when Rose pushed this back staircase. Rose had like a huge blob up here. And then We Are Clans, instead of fighting that, where it would have been like equal numbers on equal numbers, they just ignored the stuff on the wall, pincered the shit here, annihilated that. They had their, if you like, slow in force here. And as soon as this was gone, then they went up and dealt with this. And they could just basically win every single engagement that they were taking with numbers. Um, and just take it to Rose, man. Absolutely ruined them. So his Monteki tried to be a, a pain in the buttocks. <laughs> but he just died. He managed to trip some units, though. So it's just clearing up, man. Rough, rough fight. Rough, rough fight. Very well played to We Are Clans. Like I said, that, that plan was impressive. If I would have obviously seen it earlier if I would have actually looked over the, 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 the map that they weren't even going to bother defending A and B. I was just too busy looking at what units there were, what the hero classes they've got, and like generalizing what normally the map go how the, normally the map goes down. Um, good shout from them though to ignore A and B. A can be difficult to defend. It's probably easier than B though. Uh, can't really get trebbed that well. And back here, like, the fight in here neutralizes pretty much all the trips. So very, very good play from We Are Clowns again. Like, exceptional play. Well, we've still got two minutes or a minute 45. We'll have a look. Who did what for each team? So, Kicker Man U, 207 unit kills, 22 assists, and six, unit, uh, six heroes killed, sorry. Extremely strong showing, Command U. That's got to be MVP. I'd be shocked if he didn't get MVP there. Uh, Kicker Sadram as well, 116 units, 12 assists, and three heroes killed. Look at the deaths. 
He had a couple of players that died, like four players that died twice, a couple three players that died once and the others didn't. Obviously, the attackers are just getting shredded now. Um, extremely good. I'm going to close that. Kick it Amur as well, man. 105 units. Um, some 10 assists as well. Slide QT. Also extremely good showing. Very well played. Those people. And then Monteki, look, I've said a couple of times Monteki has played. But every match I've seen Monteki play has always played well. Three hero kills, two assists, and 103 units. Pretty goddamn strong, man. Uh, oh my god, Hawk as well. Or iHawk, sorry. Uh, 120 units, two heroes, and six assists. The deaths are obviously stacking up now, though. They were getting uh, spawn camp, but extremely good showing from both teams. That was impressive. So Kikaman Yu was MVP. I would have been shocked if it would have been three assists, six heroes, 207 units, 1,878 troop kill score. That is ridiculous. Like, literally no participation as well. That is absolutely brutal. He killed 53 Fortabrachios. You got a couple of the Flamers as well. Palace Guards, obviously 24 Modal. Extremely good units killed there. Obviously, most of the units that get brought into tournaments are high-value units as well anyway. So the same for Amya, man. Absolute brutal units. Uh, br brutal units killed. Not just peasants, that's what I'm trying to get at. So the 120 that Hawk killed as well. Eight Flamers is huge. 12 Zakalian. Those two units alone are worth a lot in this, man. 29 Fort Brachio. It, it did work. Man. Shout out to Hawk from the uh, from Rose's attacking team. Sorry. Kikemanu.